the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. With some things, if we look too deep into them, they cause us nothing but problems, confusion and heartache. For example, when your daughter decides she doesn't love you anymore just because you didn't give her her regular dose of sweeties. Or as we see them, refined sugar, fake chemicals and toxic borderline banned ingredients. Mmm, -hmm, yummy. Or when you read too much into your mum saying that she's gonna kill you just because you've decided to quit school and become a YouTuber. Or when we hear human rights organizations say everyone is equal. Until of course the whole Israel-Palestine conflict gets brought up and then you realize that statement is absolute garbage. Or when you see a person of color get stopped for carrying a happy meal for his daughter, who, st who still doesn't love him by the way, yeah? However, nature is different, yeah? The more we look into it, especially at a microscopic level, the more it fills us with awe-inspiring beauty and amazement. And that's where the glorious microscope comes in, yeah? Scientists and researchers need it so they can get a closer look at a cellular level and come up with cures and medicine. Others may need it to find that one functioning brain cell that still remains in their heads. Mr. Donald Trump. I think Islam hates us. Misunderestimate or excuse me, underestimate. <laughs> so the most common microscope that we have probably used ourselves in schools and that we see in laboratories is the light microscope. Yeah, you could probably even buy it from the shop right now. Yeah, then you have the electron microscope. That's right, this is a bit more chunkier and much more powerful. Whilst the light microscope can show you a few basic things inside a human cell, the electron microscope shows you much, much more. But this week, however, all eyes were on the quantum microscope. On the 9th of June, the Nature Journal published a paper on it. And the thing that stands out is that it can give up to 35 times more clarity. And that can in turn change our understanding of a lot of things. Although it's still in its early stages and requires a lot of development and improvement, it definitely goes to show how delicate and subject to change science actually is. I mean, if we look in the last couple of weeks, Einstein's theory of relativity has been questioned. Researchers have revived an animal after 24,000 years of it being frozen in permafrost. And Israel's obsession with arresting Palestinian children and then abusing them a significant percent sexually. So to pin our beliefs in science, that's right, even in terms of morality, as you can see, it's uh, subjective depending on who you're asking. If you're asking the UK and the US, of course, morality will be subjective in Israel's favor. But if we go back to the scientific thing, you can see there's been many paradigm shifts in the past from Newtonian physics to Einsteinian physics and the likes. But then you've still got people that tell us that science is omnipotent. It has the answers to everything. Yeah, and these aren't your regular nut jobs. You've actually got academics like Professor Atkins and Dawkins and the likes. But then I'll leave the question to you. Should we put our belief in something that is uncertain and ever changing? Let me know, let me know in the comments. And the whole point that I wanted to do this video was because of this verse, yeah? This is found in chapter 67 verse three and it really exemplifies and illustrates this journey from the light microscope to the quantum microscope which is the more, yeah, the more we look into the creation of Allah, we're not going to be able to find any flaws. However, we're just going to see more and more reasons for us to not only believe in Him and know Him, but to love Him and thank Him and appreciate Him and increase our bond and love with Him. And the verse says, you will not see any flaw in what the Lord of mercy creates. Look again, can you see any flaw? Look again and again, your sight will turn back to you weak and defeated. So whether it's a light microscope, quantum microscope, 
or what other microscope? Yeah, the majesty of Allah is there for those of us that see. Whether it's with our eyes, whether it's with the light microscope, the electron microscope or the quantum microscope. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.